हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई रिसेंटली थिंक स्टार्ट टू थिंक दैट आई शुड अपलोड गुड फोर्स सोल्यूशन एज वेल सम गुड प्रॉब्लम विच आई फाइंड इंटरेस्टिंग एंड टू बी हेल्पफुल टू माई कम्युनिटी आई विल ट्राई टू पोस्ट दैट सोल्यूशन सो डू लेट मी नो इफ यू लाइक द सोल्यूशन विल कंटिन्यू दैट इफ नॉट दैन लेट्स टेक विद ईट कोड कॉन्टेस्ट ओनली एंड विद जी एफ जी थिंग्स एज वेल सो let's try to read the problem it's today's contest c problem it's a good problem it's a simply related to a dsa problem and that's why i loved it what it says is firstly try to understand the problem itself and then we'll try to go to the solution and if you're new to the channel make sure hit the subscribe button and hit the like video before starting because this i explain the concept in such a way that it becomes too intuitive for you to not to go to the code part just implement it by yourself okay So what does the problem say? It says that you given a tree, okay, of n vertices, number from one to n, each of n minus edges associated with two non-negative integers x and y. When each there is an edge, there is a tree, and for each edge there are two numbers associated with that. Okay, consider a permutation of length one to n where p i represent the value assigned to vertex i. Okay, for an edge u less than v associated with values x and y, the contribution is defined as x if p u is greater than p y y otherwise value of the permutation is the sum of the contribution from all the edges okay so you have to calculate the sum value and your task is to find any permutation that maximizes that value fine firstly let's try to understand the question itself what is trying to say it like most of the people i hope are not able to understand that oh what the question is saying too much it is told let's try to Uh, understand with the help of this example quickly let's try to make the tree the tree looks like 1 5 2 4 2 3 right so what it is asking it's consider a permutation array okay let's say the zero indexing is 0 1 2 3 4 and then for sake of simplicity i am assuming one base indexing so that it's becomes helpful for you guys as well One, two, three, four, five. You have to find this permutation array. For the sake of easiness, what I am doing is I am assuming a permutation easily first, and then we'll try to discuss. Let's assign each one some value. So five, four, three, two, one. I am assigning some values to the nodes, and then we are trying to understand what we have to do. See what we have to do now. We have to go to each node. and then we have to do this oh see already pu is greater than u less than v is already given to us so we don't need to check whether u less than v or not i'm just checking two things if my first node contribution is greater than the second node contribution what i will do i will pick the first this value otherwise i will pick this value so what is bigger one say two for this permutation now we have to find this permutation okay uh, is it bigger yes always bigger so what will pick will pick 3 fine plus what what is there we will pick x, x value right sorry so it will pick 1 why because 1 is p1 what is p1 p1 is 5 here in our example p2 is 4 here so p1 is greater than p2 so what will do will pick you already get less than b fine then One and five. Now what we'll pick? We'll pick two, right? X plus two. Fine. Then here we will we'll pick five, and here we'll pick one. The total sum comes out to be nine. What do you want to do? We want to maximize this value. Maximize this. Now how to do that? What things comes to your mind? That okay, okay, okay. First greedy idea that comes to my mind always. I try to think is oh. Is it somehow possible that I pick always the larger of two values? See, the what is the maximum possible answer? I can pick like for each edge, I pick the maximum of x and y. If it's somehow possible to pick that values always in this sum, you will be like, ah, uh, yeah, always greedy. Yes, this may work. Yes, 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 yes. But is there a way of constructing the permutation in such a way that it, this always happens? Hmm. Okay. so we given a tree okay that's also gives us a hint okay this is a tree that means what there's no cycles no cycles okay fine okay no problem what what about that 
see you you see something from here that one two one three means if I want a larger value, what condition it should satisfy that? So we already saw that we if we want a larger value, what condition we can think of? So what I'm saying is instead of finding this permutation array, which is a difficult task, what I will do, I will fix this the value array. Okay, I will fix the value array and then I will find the permutation easily. How? Let's try. I try to explain it. That I'm assuming that let me define this is the value array. Okay, this is the value array. That this node with this, 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 this. And then what I'm finding is now I'm finding which node will get which value. Okay. That only I need to find. That means what? The node which come first will get larger value. Will get larger value. Okay. Cool. Cool. That that does make sense. That I am assuming I am assuming this is my value array. Now I will randomly I want to check okay what nodes will have which value that I need to find, right? This is the value array, obviously. Then we need to find which node have, have to have which value. Fine. See, can you observe from here? Okay. I'm not assuming now a directed thing. I'm assuming a sorry, undirected thing. I am assuming a directed thing that one, two, we have one, three. Okay. Okay. We want to pick three. That means what we want to go to the else case. We want to go to the else case. That means what? Um, that means what? That means P2 should be greater than P1. That should be the case. That should be the case. In our terminology, if P2 has to be greater than P1, that means P2, P2 should come before 1. Then only it have larger value, right? In this permutation, 2 should come before 1. 2 should come before 1. Okay, fine. Then go to this. 1, 5, 2, 1. 1, 5, 2, 1. What I want? This is the x value only we, we are picking. Means P1 should be greater than P5. We want something like that to happen. That means what? Oh, uh, here to 1 should come before 5. Right? That may, it will happen, right? Permutation value if you want P5 to be larger. Okay? Are you able to grasp something from it? Can you tell me something? What is going to happen? Whichever is the larger value should come first. So from 2 to 4, 4 should come before 2. Why? Because 7 is there. 2, 4, uh, 5, 7. Oh, 4 should come before 2, right? And then what's remaining? 2, 3, 100. So 2, 3, 100. So what 3 should come before? Okay. 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 Are you able to think from this? Well, this is the ordering I need somehow and then i will assign if i get an ordering ordering of this node these are nodes okay and this is the value array we define okay this is the value array who will come first will get the larger value we'll say okay okay this this makes sense this makes sense that means that means that means what what is this signifying the two different and then we have to find a valid thing that satisfy the, that valid order that will satisfy that condition did you remind of something this some node occurring before some nodes it is nothing but a topo sort question nice topo sort straight away topo sort do the topo sort and why this will work always there is it's directed acyclic there's no cycle and it's directed we already make it it's directed acyclic that's is a major hint this is the tree that's why that's a major hint it's a directed acyclic graph and then we build out of it and let's see how to build out of it. See, we, there are two possibilities. This is four, say two, this is three, say two, two, say one, one, say five. Now you can pick either this path, or either this path, both will work fine. Okay. Both will work fine. That's, that's, that's perfectly what we wanted, right? This should come first. 
this should come second right that means what that means what that four will be assigned with the largest value if we go with this path four two oh, three is gone so uh, four three because obviously four three two one five this is a valid ordering and other ordering is three two oh, sorry three four because three and four are same level so we have to keep someone to be before two one and five this will be remain fixed you can change this order four three five and five and so means what does mean is this will be assigning the largest value five this will be assigning that this will be assigning this will be assigning this will be assigning okay this will be assigning the least value so what does that mean okay this will be assigning the uh, the least value this will be assigning this 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 value right so do you get it that the first will get to we want this right opposite thing so if you want to construct the permutation array from here how will you construct the first index will have two value the second index we have three value third index we have four value fourth index we have five value and fifth index we have one value and see that that is the answer two three five four one you have can have multiple answers they also said in the question so did you get it that oh this from this we constructed this okay this is the value mapping we want this value mapping right that permutation thing again so we actually want to construct this from this if we constructed this the valid ordering pair of the nodes and we already fixed the value array we just need to reverse map it and find the final answer that the permutation so did you understood the concept that how i decided first it made a graph making a random value array then i decided okay can i pick the larger value is a my greedy idea this is the maximum possible sum i can make for every edge then i thought oh this is a directed this is a acyclic graph then i thought okay what is the condition see u is always less than v in the given order so that i don't need to worry about that i just need to worry about for what i need to pick if i if y is larger than x then that means what uh, the whatever if y is larger then i have to make an edge from v to u if I, if y is larger make an edge from u to v or oh, sorry v to u otherwise make an edge from u to v that's the only concept that who will come first that will that was the question from each node we we did that that okay this is the order valid order and they will be exactly at top sort order there could be multiple but they will be at least one valid order why we are sure about it because of this condition we are sure about it then what we did we just created a uh, initialize you can do in reverse way as well that you define other way you can reverse the edges and reverse the logic but what i thought is easier this okay whoever comes first will have a higher value that's why i did this because course schedule comes to my mind simple dsa problem and then we did that so this is a beautiful problem let me just quickly go through the the code so the code is pretty simple and straightforward just in and you took that and then you make an adjacency and list you make an end degree then what you do they took the input then i already explained you then if x is greater than y u is already less than v this is already given then x is greater than y that means what i need that so i need p u should be greater than p v so u should come first then v so u got push back v and in degree of v plus plus opposite thing in case of else case then we did a simple topo sort logic i know i hope you know the topo sort logic if you know no take it out of videos of how topo sort works it's pretty simple what do you want to do we just minimize the in degree whoever come first will be pushed into the queue first and then you pop out the queue in a particular order there could be multiple topo sort valid orders because uh, they could be there but we just want one valid order what we did then we have to reverse map it so what i did that i initialize the k equals to 0 and then i just do v of i that this is my final answer array and answer array we already computed is equals to i means this is how i am going to one whatever comes first i am giving that value to him then i just my final answer is stored in v vector right it will assign oh one got some value here i already explained you one one got two value so okay one's value will be two will be printed here and this is how we construct the array 
so i hope you understood the entire intuition the explanation and the concept if you like the video make sure hit the subscribe button and like the video it'll make such more some awesome content for you guys so stay tuned and keep learning keep practicing bye bye